Lemu steps outside. Cuts inside. He's still not down. He's over! And Lemu breaks the deadlock for the All Blacks, regains the lead for them, and France look frightened. Frank Bunce out to Lomu, first touch for the big man. Lomu goes around Craig Joyner. What a sight this is. Joyner misses the tackle, it's Hastings. Jomo, Lomu through Hastings, holds on, and this is going to be an awesome try. It's Walter Little who scores the first try of the match. It was a staggering, thundering run by the big man on that left wing. And Scotland have now got to ask themselves, how on earth did they stop him? But just look at the power in this man. Craig Joyner thinks of letting him go past him and tackling him from behind. And uh, Gavin Hastings gets the front of him. And in the end, he still has the skill to give it to his partner, Walter Little. Bishop. Kicked away to Lomu. Well, what can you say, really, with the ball in hand? He's just unstoppable, isn't he? He is unstoppable. The first time he made the try, we thought, for Little. The second time he scored the try. Really, Jock, he's a monster. Well, it's not because he's got any room or any space, is it? He's just running hard and running straight, and running just straight over the top of the Irish. Too much strength, too much power. Look at the determination. Fantastic. Solid. Luton switching it again to Lomu. What an option to have with your shoulder. John Lomu in a great position there to get his 18th try in his 33rd game for the All Blacks. That's a five yard from the try line, and you're wondering who to pass to. And that's the man. Lovely inside ball from Mertens. <laughs> no chance of stopping him from there, have they? Absolutely no. Still the ball, the game carries on. Zinzan Brook, a huge pass to, on the outside to Osborne. This is Lomu again. Lomu is through. Well, Rob Andrew was brushed aside by the big man. And uh, here comes the pass. There's the big man. And just watch him. He's very quick as well. Just into the gap. And there was no stopping him at all. Lovely try for New Zealand. It was into place from half. Bronfeld gets it away well under pressure. Burton's the long ball to Lomu. And it's a stroll. Second try for John Lomu. Breaking the hearts of the Tongans. He makes it look so easy. Had to come. And had to come from that man as well, I think. He has looked New Zealand's best player. Last to put him into space. No stride, you just can't get him around the legs, they're too big. He's always going to score from 15 metres out. Kronfeld did well too, didn't he? He certainly did. He freed it up. There's no move, you just cannot stop him, can you? Richards. Morris. Intercept by Bashup. Lomu. Hands off Tony Underwood. Lomu. Heading for four. But that's the most brilliant quartet of tries you'd ever wish to see. Remember the number 11. It's etched in his eyebrow. And he gets his fourth Watch try. Watch him here. Some good work by Basham. He gets his hands on the ball and quickly turns the attack. And Underwood beaten on the outside, clearly. And Lomu decides inside cap. The try line's there. A brilliant exhibition by the young winger. But how he was helped by his number nine, who's had one of the sensational games at halfback. Lomu, all power, all step, no opposition. He leaves him behind as he goes in for try number four. Brett Garbagiosa didn't even get near it. Dominici is hounded down by Kronfeldt. Danger here, Cullen flips on to Lomu, Lomu steps outside, cuts inside, he's still not down, he's over! And Lomu breaks the deadlock for the All Blacks, regains the lead for them.
And France looked frightened. Oh, I don't believe that. There must have been six Frenchmen trying to drag him down. He had a bit of an overlap. He didn't want to know it in the end. Look at this. He just veers infield. One, two, three, four, five Frenchmen trying to haul him down. Benazi brushed off in the corner, and Lomu crashes over for another sensational try. Incredible. His 14th try in Rugby World Cup. Back it goes to Lamaison. Wilson right underneath it. This is dangerous. He's got Umanga and Lomu. This time, though, they go for the option back to Wilson. Back inside to Lomu. Pass one, pass two. Here he goes again. Bundling them off, and the big man is over for his second try. They just worked the variation of shade, but again the danger was he got the ball in open field. Well, I just couldn't believe that. My Maison just kicked it straight down Wilson's throat. Who's outside him? Jonah alone, if you want to kick the two people in the world, you don't kick to those two. Oh, but Jose did a good job of getting out of the way there, didn't he? Oh, these two will punish you all day long. Well, it was at the semi-final stage where Jonah Lomu tore England apart. In Jeff Wilson steps inside, he's fast, trying to find Kronfeldt, picked up by Robin Brook, on to Richard Lowe. New Zealand on the charge, and Chalmers is injured off the ball, but Jonah Lomo with another chance here. Lomo goes round Craig, jo Craig Joyner, and the big man has scored. Whenever this man gets the ball, there's so much danger. He scores his third try for New Zealand. Well, just watch the immense pace from this man. He's 118 kilograms. And he moves so fleet of foot, he really is an outstanding player on the wing. They're proving to be. So now it's a straight line. Lomu, up the middle. Three for Big Jonah. Set move. Cut back inside. And Jonah's in for three. Well, haven't they used him superbly? This was a Lomu explosion. The Australians saw something was going to develop, but they didn't expect that sort of express train and the defense was absolutely devastated New Zealand once again showing what great ruckers they are just that ball popping out on their side once again Bashup has it for the fourth time pass out to Lomu Underwood can't take this is the big man Lomu He's still on his feet. Lomu could score. That's a great try for New Zealand. And one fancies trick that uh, England's fears about the big man are certainly very worrying at this stage. He literally just ran straight over Tony Underwood. And uh, England's plan was to get in very close to the big man. Well, he's a frightening prospect. Yeah, the pass even goes astray. He had to go and ferret for it. And back he got it well. But look at the power of that man. They try to tackle him. He just seems to slip out of it. Cat tries to tackle him. And uh, beautiful try. And that certainly will have a big effect on the game to get ahead so early. And here, watch that pass. It's not a very good pass. And well picked up by Loma. Look at the power of the man. 118 kilograms. Six foot five. Craig Newby of New Zealand has it now just outside New Zealand's 22. 35,000 people packed into the Estadio Mundialista Stadium and Jonah Lomu touches for the first time. Australia's captain Richard Graham has been fended off. One to beat. And Lomu, what a beginning. Jonah Lomu puts New Zealand into the lead with a winger's try. And that's something we haven't seen from him in the tournament. He's been up the middle busting. He's been in the forwards. He's been all over the park. But that's the first time he's run in a winger's try. Keith, he has had his critics in this tournament, but the big man has exploded at the opportune moment. It really was David and Goliath, that last confrontation with little Brendan Williams at the great Jonah. About it, uh, Keith, it shut it down, but not for any purpose. 
so there it is for Bashup again who's had such a control in the first half and then a little push out towards Lomu and Lomu's chasing hard and the bounce has gone to Little Kronfeld Lomu three for Lomu that's the second half start they were looking for and John Lomu continues to amaze the rugby world brilliant display from the youngster but there's some really good lead up here by Walter Little and then Josh Cromfelt reads it brilliantly to clear the ball wide to Lomu who's in space and Carling can't bring him down excellent start Mertens Lomu Lomu and Proctor Lomu three of them onto him and they scragged him but they didn't hold him and he may get there yet with Cronfeld. Cronfeld gets it. It's not fair. Lomu did all the work and Cronfeld got the try. Lomu is holding his elbow. The try is awarded. Cronfeld got it. But away to the right. Jonah Lomu is down. Let's look at it again, Jock Hobbs. Jonah Lomu does brilliantly here. He's not in an overlap situation, but stands up Proctor beautifully, and he is away. He's okay too. Carry on. We'll see here that he tries to chop inside Clement. They just bring him to the ground, but Cronfell, as he has done all this tournament, is in support and is able to crash over. But brilliant stuff from Jonah Lomu. Straight to Little. Little out to Lomu. He can get, get the big legs going. He's only got one to beat. They've gathered again. I don't believe this. He's got it up to Kronfeld. And a try yes. has been scored. That is stunning. Say the name Lomu. Because you'll be saying it a lot more over the next few years. Kronfeld's try made by... Jonah Lomu, this is amazing, Jock Hobbs. Well, it's just fantastic, isn't it? I, I mean, what can you say? They just move it out there as fast as possible. He's got all sorts of Irish men to get through, but he just ploughs his way through. Lots of skill, though, moving off both feet. Plenty of strength. They really just didn't know what to do, the Irish. And Kronfeld, who's played a very, very good game in support, gets reward. But look at him. 